A store surveyed their customers to find out their ages. The bar graph below shows the number of customers in, age, in each age group. So for example, in the under 17 age group, there are 25 customers. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to label each bar with its frequency. So how many people are under 17? 25. How many are between 18 and 24? That's 30 people, as we can see over here. Um, how many are between the ages of 25 and 34? That's 40 people. So these are frequencies. That's the number of people. How many people are between 35 and 50? That is going to be 35. How many people are over 50? That's going to be 20. So these represent the frequencies of each of the age groups. Now the question says, what percent of customers surveyed were over 50? Now first of all, to get a percent, here's what we have to do. We have to start with the relative frequency, which is going to be the frequency of the desired class divided by the total frequency. That's a relative frequency. Uh, once we do that, that's going to be converted to a decimal. Then we're going to multiply this by 100 to get our answer in a percent form. Okay, so we want to know what percent of customers surveyed were over 50. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out what is the frequency of the desired class, the, the class that's over 50. And that frequency is going to be 20. So a relative frequency is going to be 20 divided by, and now we got, we got to figure out what is a total frequency. So to get the total frequency, which I'll put up here, we're going to add 25 and 30 and 40 and 35 and 20. That gives us our total frequency. So let's go ahead and add that up. If we add up 25 and 30, that's 55, and 40, that's 95, and 35, that's 130, and 20, that's 150. So our total frequency is going to be 150. So relative frequency is going to be 20. That is the frequency of the desired class, which is over 50, divided by the total frequency, which is 150. Now, once we do that, that's going to give us a decimal. So let's take 20 and divide that by 150. This gives us a decimal, which is 0.133333. And in any middle step, keep at least five or six decimals. So we have 0.133333. But we want our answer in percent form. So we're going to multiply this by 100, and this gives us 13.3333%. The question says round to one decimal, so we're going to round to the first decimal. The number after that is a four uh, is a four or lower. It's a three, so we're going to keep this as thirteen point three percent. And don't include the percent sign because it's already there. The plot above shows the number of computers a store sold in the first four days of this week. How many computers did they sell altogether? So we want to know how many computers did they sell on Monday? They, they sold two computers. How many on Tuesday? They sold eight. How many on Wednesday? Sold one. How many on Thursday? Sold five. So the total number of computers sold are going to be two plus eight plus one plus five, and that's going to be 10 plus one is 11 plus five. That's going to be 16 total computers. The bar graph shows the stopping distance in, in feet of a car traveling at different speeds. Approximately how many feet would it take for the car traveling at 60 feet per second to stop? So notice that the x-axis this represents the speed. And the y-axis represents the distance it takes to stop. So we want to take a look at the car that's traveling at 60 feet per second. So that's going to be this car right there. Now how long does it take to stop? So here we have to do some kind of a little bit of approximation. So if I go up here, um, I want to figure out which value is this on the y-axis because the y-axis is the distance required to stop. Okay. Now this is a little bit above um, the halfway point, so I'm going to guess it's about 270 feet. You have, there's a little bit of an error, you know. So if you put a little bit less, a little bit higher, that's fine, but it needs to be around 270 feet. 
So a car traveling at 60 feet per second, it takes 270 feet to stop. This bar graph shows the stopping distance and feet of a car traveling at different speeds. Approximately how far is a car traveling if it takes 356 feet to stop? So the x-axis, this represents speed. That's what we're looking for. We, don't, we wanna know what is the speed of the car that takes 356 feet to stop. So the distance that it takes to stop is given by the y-axis. So on the y-axis, I wanna locate 356. So 356 is going to be about halfway between uh, 300 and 400. That's going to be approximately 356. Now, I want to know 356, if that's the distance it takes to stop, I'm going to take that over and I'm going to see which bar graph does it hit. And it's going to hit this graph. So it takes about 70 feet per second to stop. Sorry, the car is traveling at 70 feet per second if it takes a car 356 feet to stop. So we'll start with the y-axis, we start at 356, take that over to the bar graph and see which of these uh, bar graphs um, it represents.